Hey there, good afternoon, Sagittarius, and welcome to Love and Abundance Tarot. Welcome to your March Tarot reading. So Sagittarius, it's March the 22nd. I'm just getting this reading out to you today. I apologize, March has been a really busy month for me, so I'll be quicker next month on getting your reading out to you. But I appreciate your understanding, and I hope this tarot reading finds you in beautiful divine timing, Sagittarius. Okay, so what's happening in the world? Big events. So tomorrow... The planet Pluto moves into Aquarius energy, which is really going to shake things up in the world, right? Maybe shake things up on a, on a global level, maybe even shake things up on an individual level as well. So we all have that to look forward to. You know, the last time, I'm, I'm told this, by the way, the last time that this alignment took place was in 2008, right? Which is when the financial crisis hit, so... Anyways, I'm really curious to see what these energies bring us, right, on a global scale. And I'm actually curious to see what they bring on an individual scale as well. So Sagittarius, it's great to connect with you. Today is Wednesday, March the 22nd. Uh, it's Wednesday afternoon. I'm going to use my, oh, wow, three of swords on the bottom of the deck. Uh, I'm going to use my Crystal Vision tarot set for your tarot reading today. And then I'm going to pull... An affirmation card for you for my Magical Times spell cards. So Sagittarius, I'm going to pull three energies for you. And then I'm going to pull clarifying energies on those energies. And the clarifiers give us a chance to dig deeper, right? We get The clarifiers bring out the details. They point out the specifics of what's going on for you. And then once we're done with that row, then I'm going to create a second row. And we're going to pull clarifying energies on that row as well. So, let's get started. Let's see what's happening in the world of Sag. I pre-shuffled my decks, but let's just give it one more shuffle. Alright, Sagittarius. Tell us about Sagittarius in the month of March. Great energy coming right out for you, Sagittarius. Comes to us as the Magician. Right, so some of you are going to be creating and you've probably already been creating and manifesting this month in March. These two birds flying above the magician's head, they kind of stand out to me. But again, we're going to pull clarifying energies for that. Tell us more about Sagittarius energy in March, please. Okay, beautiful. Coming in next, you have a beginning. The Ace of Wands showed up. So Ace of Fire coming to you. This is a very passionate beginning, right? Very exciting, an adventurous kind of beginning. It's also a fast-moving beginning, right? So this beginning may be coming in very quickly for you, Sagittarius. And then at, next to that, we have the Nine of Wands. So we're talking about this beginning right here, and the Nine of Wands says that when you're creating, when you are manifesting this beginning, you're thinking about the long term, right? Or if you're wise, you're thinking about the long term. Meaning the steps that you're, that you're making right now towards creating this beginning, think a little further out, right? Think, it's like, think kind of like she's done here on this card. She's positioned herself on top of this hill. So she has the, the strategic advantage of being above. So she's better able to see the energies that are approaching. Who's her companion? The lion, representing her inner strength. All right, let's clarify. Let's begin by clarifying the magician. Tell us about the Magician energy for Sagittarius, please. You may be manifesting love in your life. Knight of Cups wanted to come out. Uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy right here. Uh, represents the energy of your knight in shining armor, right? So this knight comes in and he's bringing you an energy that you love, right? Taking you towards this beginning. Let's clarify the Knight of Cups. Tell us more about the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. Too many energies. Tell us more about the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. Another beginning right here. The Ace of Pentacles wanted to come in. So look, I already know at the end of the day, Sagittarius, right? The month of March, you're creating this month, right? You're creating beginnings. We have two Aces coming out right here. This is a tangible beginning, right? That you live, feel, and experience. And it's this night that's bringing in this beginning that you really love. And just notice, here's a heart right here, right? So knight of, the Knight of Cups may be bringing some of you a new relationship, right? 
love, right? A loving beginning right here. And look at these warm colors. It's fan kind of fantastic. Okay, Sagittarius. Let's clarify the Ace of Wands. Tell us about the Ace of Wands for Sagittarius. Okay, we're having a little shift of energies right here. So coming in next, you have the Five of Pentacles, which is a limiting energy. I always pay attention to the weather, especially in the, this deck of cards, right? So we got some snow right here, right? So it's, it's cold. And here she is huddled with her child under the tree. The Five of Pentacles is a limiting energy. Is It represents that energy of feeling like you're left out in the cold. So attached to the Five of Pentacles, you have the Two of Wands. So you have the Two of Wands coming in, clarifying this Ace of Wands, right? So here's your beginning right here. And for many of you, right, the reason you're wanting to create this beginning is you're wanting to step away from this energy, right? Whatever, whatever it represents to you, right? Feeling like you were left out in the cold, moving into the energy of I'm ready for an adventure, right? I'm ready, ready for some excitement in my life. Sagittarius, you guys are fantastic at changes, acclimating and adapting to change. So I don't have, I think, I have full confidence that that you Sagittarians are gonna are gonna to adjust to from the five of, of Pentacles energy into the two of Wands uh, beautifully. I don't think that's going to be a difficult transition for you. Let's clarify this Nine of Wands. Please clarify the Nine of Wands for Sagittarius. You've got the Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands in Sagittarius. Now you have the Three of Wands, right? And now clarifying the Nine of Wands. So looking at the journey that lies ahead, she takes out her crystal ball and she holds it up to the sun to try to get an idea of what this journey is going to look like that you're in the process of creating and manifesting and building, thinking about the long-term future here. Right, so, I mean, looking at the Nine of Wands and the Three of Wands attached to it, Sagittarius, when you're stepping in and creating this beginning, I don't feel like many of you are just are just going to fall into it, right? I, I feel like you've been thinking about this beginning quite a bit. And wanting to create a kind of beginning that's not going to put you in this energy of the Five of Pentacles. Instead, it's going to put you in a, the energy of adventure, excitement, something passionate. Let's clarify this Three of Wands. Please clarify the Three of Wands for Sagittarius. Pisces energy wanted to come out. So here's the hanged man, right? Some of you may still be thinking about, right? Thinking about this beginning right here and maybe thinking about like, what is it that I want to create, right? What do, I want the, what do I want the future to look like? How can I create things right now? How can I create changes in this beginning right now that are going to be make for a, a more smoother transition moving forward in the future? I've got to clarify the hanged man. So some of you may be connected to a Pisces. Please clarify the hanged man for Sagittarius. You have two energies, right? What do you? Th so you're hanging suspended by your ankles and you're thinking, right? What is it you're thinking about? Thinking about changes in your life. Wheel of Fortune, this is your energy showing up right here. The Zodiac wheel spins and it spins off changes for you. And then attached to the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Seven of Wands, right? And this might be why some of you are still in this hangman energy. Because the Seven of Wands, these six wands right here, they represent the opinions and, and ideas of other others, right? And notice he's on his dragon, he's holding his breastplate, and he has his wand in his hand, but he's in a defensive energy right here. So some of you, right, you may be getting feedback from others that's causing you to stay in this hangman energy where it's, you know, I need to put a little more thought into this and I'm thinking about the kinds of changes that you want to make in your life. Fantastic. All right, Sagittarius, let's create the second row for you. Let me just give this deck three shuffles real fast. I mean, it's interesting. I kind of go in streaks when it comes to paying, paying attention to astrology. 
I haven't been paying super close attention to it lately. So I actually learned from a friend about this Pluto Aquarius energy. Um, but yeah, changes. Changes are coming, Sagittarius. Tell us more about Sagittarius energy in the month of March, please. Sagittarius for March. Sagittarius energy for March, please. Eight of Swords wanted to come out. So notice, this is a limiting energy, right? Look at the weather. It's cloudy, kind of cold, overcast. She's standing in the snow. She's surrounded by these these um, eight swords right here, right? So eight swords, notice she has a blindfold over her eyes. So some of you may be in the energy where you feel a little bit trapped, right? And wearing a blindfold, it may be, I mean, you may be feeling this energy of fear because you're unable to see, right? Maybe you're unable to see what this beginning looks like moving forward. Let's clarify this Eight of Swords. Please clarify the Eight of Swords for Sagittarius. You may be scared of this beginning, right? Ace of Pentacles coming in attached to fear, right? So some of you, I don't know. You may be, look, change is difficult to make. And I mean, not difficult for Sagittarius energy, right? Difficult for the rest of us, for a lot of us. But uh, we have fear coming in attached to this beginning. Let's clarify this beginning. Please clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Sagittarius. The unknown card, right? So it's interesting. I love Tarot. She's wearing a blindfold, right, over her eyes. So she's unable to see. So some of you, right, Sagittarius, when you're focused on this beginning, if you're in the energy, right, where you're unable to see it, that's why the unknown card is coming in right here. You're staring into the crystal ball, trying to see what this beginning looks like, right? But the crystal ball is clouded. We saw this crystal ball earlier on that Three of Wands when she went up to the mountain and held it up to the air. Held it up to the sun. All right. Don't fear the unknown, Sagittarius. Tell us more about Sagittarius energy in March, please. Beautiful energy coming out next. You have the Empress energy. So Taurus Libra by way of Zodiac. Some of you may be connected to an Empress, to a Taurus, or to a Libra. You know, the, the Empress energy is a, is a great energy because what it's about is it's about self-love, right? And I feel like many of you Sagittarius, Sagittarians, as you're moving towards this beginning, you're moving towards a beginning that's going to put you in the energy where you can recognize and feel your value. And don't be surprised at all, Sagittarius, if, if when you're stepping into this beginning, you may find that, like, I'm just taking better care of myself. Maybe I'm eating better. Maybe, I, like, just getting ready in the morning. You know, it's a very nurturing kind of energy here, very balanced energy as well. Notice the Empress, the Empress is pregnant. Some of you may be expecting. Let's clarify the Empress. Please clarify the Empress for Sagittarius. Attached to the Empress, you have the Four of Cups. Limiting energy, right? She's focused right here on this cup, which means she's unaware of these three cups that are behind her. Three cups. So maybe representing the energy of friendships right there. Some of you, you may have been so focused on this beginning over here that you've, like, there's just no time for friends right here. Uh, coming in attached to the Four of Cups. And the other energy with the Four of Cups is it represents the energy of feeling a little bit stuck. You know, it can be like, I use the word funk all the time, right? In this past week, I've been in a funk quite a bit. So this is your funk card energy right here. Um, attached to the Four of Cups, you have your Ace of Wands. So many of you, Sages, are looking forward to this beginning. And this beginning giving you the opportunity 
to pull yourself out of this funk. Pull yourself out of this funk where you can get back to loving yourself and focusing on you. Taking good care of yourself. Tell us more about Sagittarius energy in March, please. Sagittarius energy in March. Too many energies. Eight of Cups, walking away from something, right? Whatever she's walking away from, she's walking out of the water. Water represents a lot of emotions and feelings, right? So some of you may be walking away from this emotion right here, right? Being in the funk, feeling, maybe walking away from that energy where you just feel like, you know, you're stuck in life, right? And anytime you're stuck in life, you're ready for a change. You're ready for a new beginning. Let's clarify this Eight of Cups. Please clarify the Eight of Cups. Two of Pentacles coming in attached to the Eight of Cups, right? So whatever you're walking away from, and I feel like you're walking away from this energy, right? You're walking away from feeling like I'm in a funk, feeling like I'm stuck. Uh, it's, and it's causing you, your ability to walk away from that energy is immediately going to balance your energy, right? So you're going to feel good right out of the gate right as soon as you walk away from this and then attached to the two of pentacles the nine of wands is back again right I'm building for the future i'm thinking about the long term right here long term changes long term changes that help you shift from being in this energy to now being in this energy and creating this beautiful beginning and it becomes tangible and real for you in this ace of pentacles beginning but again sagittarius some of you don't know what this beginning looks like right staring into the crystal ball that's why the unknown card is coming in and if you're in that energy you may feel a little bit trapped right maybe a little bit stuck you may feel a little bit fearful like oh my god i don't know what the hell i'm stepping into all right sagittarius wow love your tarot reading let's pull an affirmation card for you Help us pull an affirmation card for Sagittarius, please. Affirmation for March. Affirmation card for Sagittarius, please. I told you, Sagittarius, new beginnings. So the number 44, a pretty magical number, reduces back to an 8 as above, so below. Let the magic in my spell clear the space in which I dwell. Let the magic in my spell clear the space in which I dwell. Let the magic in my spell clear the space in which I dwell. So new beginnings for you, Sagittarius. And what a beautiful time, stepping into springtime for new beginnings, especially right now. I mean, look, with Pluto moving into the sign of Aquarius, right? That planet, those planetary energies may have a lot to do for you, Sagittarius, with creating this beginning. Some of you may be experiencing some transformational changes and transformational beginnings. So anyway, Sagittarius, it's great to connect with you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I hope these energies resonated with each and every one of you. Hope that you're able to find your truth here. I mean, my goal as your tarot reader all along, I just want to raise your vibration from the, the time you click on the channel and hit play to the time you hit stop when this video is over with. I'm hoping that you experience a raised vibration, that you're just happier. That's my goal. All right, and to provide you some great information, informative information that'll help you on making your decisions, right, throughout the month of March and April. Okay, Sagittarius, if any of you are interested in requesting a personal tarot reading, send me an email at Tree of Life Tarot, excuse me, at Love and Abundance Tarot, and uh, I'd love to respond back to you and set up a time to work on your personal tarot reading. 
Thank you so much for the love and the support that you guys provide me here. Sagittarius, you guys are the best. Love you guys. Have a beautiful day and enjoy the rest of March. Thank you.